These were people, these were the Levites whose charge it was to be in the service of the Lord. Just like we see when the disciples are to pick out uh, helpers to help with the daily ministration in the New Testament, right? When, when they need to, to find people that are going to help with the widows that need help and, and do these, what you might see as more menial tasks, they're still, they're, who they're choosing are the people who are full of the Holy Ghost, good, you know, great men of God, they're able to, you know, they're, they're, they're not just taking the bottom rung, you know, just saved yesterday, maybe person to do these tasks. They're finding people who are going to be responsible, dependable. It's the same thing here with the musicians. This isn't just some small, no big deal, whatever. No, this is actually a position that is a very important position. It's an important of t a, a position of teaching, of prophesying, and using their instruments to glorify God. And I would say this, you know, when it comes to our music within this church and anyone who's involved with music or anyone who wants to be involved with music in this church, you need to take it seriously and think of it as, hey, you are performing a big function here. The people that were chosen in the Old Testament, it says they were instructed in the songs of the Lord. They were cunning. They were able to play. They worked hard at it. It was, it was a job. It was something that, that was looked at as a full-time job. It was something that was that important. It had that much gravity and weight. And if you were going to play before the Lord, right, we shouldn't go half-heartedly. And Hey, maybe you're not going to be involved in music. How about your singing? Just singing praise unto the Lord. Every, this impacts everybody. You know, what you're offering up, the Bible talks about the sacrifice of praise, offering up the sacrifice of praise in the books of Psalms. You're giving your voice as a sacrifice to God. You're singing praise unto His name. Why don't you try to sing the best that you can? Now, not everybody is a professional singer. God knows that. We all know that. But how about you sing from the heart and you give your best? How about not just, you know, muttering with your lips or moving your lips to make it look like you're singing? So if anyone looks at you, you could, you could look like you're singing, but you're not actually singing. You say, how do you know? Because that was me in the, in the Presbyterian church where I grew up. I would, I would move my lips and not sing because I didn't, as much as I like music, I didn't really like the, the singing in public. It's kind of something I would do in private. That was my personality, but, but it's not right. You know, if you're, if you're going to come in the house of God, you ought to lift up your voice. You ought to sing to God and, and do your best. Try, make an effort. Don't just say, well, I'm not good at it, so whatever. No, I mean, what you're offering your voice to God, you're saying praise on Him, make it worth something. And if you're going to take on a position, leading songs, playing an instrument, you know, why don't you try to make it a point to do your best and to improve and, and to continually get better? Now, you may not be perfect, you may have room to grow, understood. But don't just let it sit and just be not that big of a deal. We always ought to be pushing forward to try to prove and make improvements and to do better to serve the Lord because that is a capacity to serve God. It serves a very important function. When we do not have musical instruments and we do not have music in our service, there's something lacking. We're not quite complete. And I don't believe like, like some people do in this acapella only nonsense. Well, we don't see instruments in the New Testament. You don't see it repealed either. And we see that the Psalms are confirmed in the New Testament, that we're supposed to sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So are we only supposed to sing about making a joyful noise unto the Lord and using instruments, but not actually use the instruments? <laughs> what sense does that make at all? So, so yeah, we're going to sing the Psalms, and we're going to sing a psalm that says, praise the Lord on an instrument of six strings, but we're not actually going to praise the Lord on an instrument of six strings with a psaltery, with a heart. We're not going to do that. We're just going to sing it a cappella. It makes no sense. 